How's it going everybody, Goldhead here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 34 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough guide and in this entry we are going to be starting Glowichestershire. So picking up where we left off, we have completed the Jorvik Shire arc and we are ready to start our next arc with Ranvi, so we are going to go ahead and look at our Alliance map. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glowichestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Glowichestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Glowichester. You will find him there. So, for our first objective of this mission, we are going to need to find Gunnar, and he is going to be in Glowichester. We are going to get a map marker, which I am going to travel there now. Once you arrive, Glowichester will look like this. Here is a Have bird's a eye view. We want to cross the bridge and he will be over here on the right. Here is what's behind us and we are ready to go get our dialogue. There you are, Gunner, and with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Over here. Eivor, thought I smelt you under wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunner. Lavendinta. With my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? If mom and dad carried Evan Gilly the Nanun, couldn't help Drews me. Breaks with Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass the gallery. That they were gal clear slown. Right, no daylight to waste, then, huh? So the elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> And the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan? Is that what these cabroots are for? This tradition? Aye. 
face is cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eber, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? I'm here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread. So tread careful, boy. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Defter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. 
not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Fell the swamp. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splood, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor... Next up in our objectives, we need to speak with Gunnar, and he is going to be right back where we found him at the beginning. So we're just going to get on horseback and ride over there. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. Accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunan, and that spatchcock Tetir lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tetir. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. 
So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Ni gwisgol am fel ysbrydion yn creatures of the veil. Dy bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Luft. Now, that's Hooden. Become the Mary Luft. Next up, we need to do some trick or treating. We only have to do three houses, so we're going to go ahead and knock that out real quick. These are basically just flighting riddles, and we're just going to go ahead and take care of them. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewitt. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Lewitt haunts my door. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. Are you playing the role of trick to spirit? Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my abode. There is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewitt doesn't fail. Ah, oh, have a cake for your troubles then. Ah, oh, lads getting into their cup. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar? Now that we have completed trick or treating, we are ready to go meet up with Gunnar, and he is going to be over on the right by the docks. We are going to have a cutscene and a fist fight, and we are ready to move on. Stretch your wings soon. Gunnar! You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Goner, we are guests here. Let them go. We can hood more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, him tall. Time has come for you. It's you lot we should be burning alive. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher. 
I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a compass to patch this lawn. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. With Dean of Fall. Regardless of Poisel Puar. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenny, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I'll give me strength. My mom modern is known I'm a humor towish good run. I'm glad you're all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modron. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Bitter ale and sweet friends. That is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For a shaveling of the Christ Lord. You have a lot of scars, Quillam. Not every tonsured man is a wet eared Abbey, babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me, for allies new and old. Of all the elder men I've met, you are the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. 
The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A true father sacrifices himself for his people. Gives his all, his blood and flesh. A great honor, but a sad fate. Hmm. Huh. When you speak these words, it reminds me of the Christ. Aye, lad. Now you can see how a man like myself sees the value in both. A toast, then. To Elderman Kunan. Joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. What is this? Water. I feel like Thor chugging ocean snow effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. I will speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I for that. I am sorry. A colossal horse is ours. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> And how nice is that? Tevter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah! The greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union! To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? This way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <laughs> silly words to scare silly children. Ha! <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are, right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter, where are you?
hell's breath? What happened last night? Ah, the effects of that draft still cling. So we have completed that mission and we are going to get another one. Our first objective is to be collecting evidence in this room, which I will go ahead and grab all those spots now. This pot has been broken and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood could be Tefters. If he was the heavy thing being dragged. This Mighty God. footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door. Come out of there. Quillam's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here. Lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tiffany. And they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except... Gwillem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwillem's special something. Maybe Mother Mordron will know the contents. There she is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! So the healer's location is going to be over here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and give you a bird's eye view of where that is here in just a second. Once we get there, we are going to get some dialogue and then we are going to go to our next location. Surprised to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were 
Intense. Search the houses! Could have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewin. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Next up in our objectives, we need to find the druid. He is going to be on this location by this small pond on the map right here. This is what this area is going to look like. Here is his house. Now I'll give you a bird's eye view real quick. There is an ingot chest over here in the water, which I will be covering first. And then we are ready for our cutscene. Fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. So we are going to knock on the door and he will not answer if we don't have our mask on. The way you put your mask on is just to put your cloak back on. The cloak that we're wearing, you may see that it is not your original cloak that you had to start with. So if you just keep that cloak they gave you on and go to your cloak on the D-pad, our mask will just come right on. Then we can knock on the door and he will answer. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. So we will have to start the ritual here, and we just need to take out our torch and burn all these little stick figure guys. We're going to go ahead and take care of them all real quick, and we are ready to go look for some evidence. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which is the charm that weds souls? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. 
What are these things he's asking me? Next up in our objectives, we need to solve the riddle. The way we do this is go around and collect all the clues. We do not have to memorize anything that they say. We just have to make sure we pick them all up. His questions will change every time you do this. So I suggest just picking up all the clues just in case. So I'm going to go ahead to all these locations now. A hangman's noose. A knife. The vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. This symbol is one I've seen, carved into shields and headstones. <laughs> Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. The last clue we will be picking up is in the water right here on the statue, and there will be an opal right here. Now that we have gotten all our clues, we are ready to go back and solve the riddle. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes, such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic knot wards of harm. A secure knot indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin. <clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Now that we have solved the riddle, that will end Clues and Riddles. We have now completed that mission, which we will get one more mission, and that will be the Stolen King, which we will be picking up in Entry 35. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I will see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.